Hi everyone, I'm Max Margina, and I'm here to talk about alpha factor analysis using AlphaLens. AlphaLens is an open source tool that we at Quantopian have developed in order to analyze the predictive power of alpha factors. Now, if you recall from a cross-sectional equity portfolio, the key driving feature is that we have some factor value with which we rank every single asset in our universe. We then go long on the assets that have the highest factor values and short on the assets that have the lowest factor values. So what we're essentially saying is that our factor value is proportional to the expected return of these assets. And this is what AlphaLens lets us actually suss out. AlphaLens gives us a full battery of tests from returns, information analysis, to turnover analysis. And this gives us a sense of the predictive power of any individual factor. In the returns analysis, what we get is a breakdown of returns by individual quantile in terms of point estimates and also in terms of time series estimates. This is important to get a general sense of what's going on because sometimes point estimates don't tell the whole story. So first we get these mean returns of each individual basket. And generally what we want is, uh, well, as with everything, we want it to go up and to the right. But we want our lowest quantile to be a particularly negative return and we want our highest quantile to be a particularly positive return. Because these are the quantiles that we're gonna go short and long on respectively. Now what we're doing with a factor portfolio is we're taking a bet on the relative performance of these baskets. We're not taking a bet on the absolute performance of anything. So we just want these to spread apart from each other. And this is what the time series graphs and the cumulative returns of each individual quantile give us. In the information analysis, what we're looking at is the information coefficient, the Spearman rank correlation. And the Spearman rank correlation is only slightly different from the correlation that we all know and love. What it is, is the correlation between the factor value, some core categorical number, and the returns of our assets. And what this does is it indicates a monotonic relationship between factor value and asset returns. So the higher our factor value, the higher our returns, if we have a good Spearman rank correlation. The final section of an alpha lens analysis is the turnover analysis. Now it's important to remember that alpha lens is an analytical tool. This doesn't have actual slippage and commissions baked into it. This is meant to be a tool for us to iterate quickly on factors before we decide which ones we finally want to implement in a backtest in the final stage. But turnover here gives us a sense of how stable a factor is in each individual quantile over time. First, we get the percentage of assets that remain in a given quantile per period. And then we get the factor autocorrelation, which is the correlation of the factor value with its own past factor values. And both of these give us a sense of how often this factor value switches up. And this is important just because whenever you have any sort of factor or any sort of strategy in general, if your performance does not outweigh the impact from slippage and commissions, then you're in trouble and you need to start again with a new hypothesis and iterate and research again.